everybody. How are you going? How are you going? How are you doing? <laughs> how is it going and how are you doing together? You know, how are you doing? Okay, <laughs> so I have a book I want to share with you today. It's from the Click Clack Moo family and it's called Duck for President. And the reason why I'm reading this book is because in the year 2020, we are going to be voting. We vote every November, and it's important for adults to vote because we get that's how we get to have our say in who our leaders are. So we vote for local leaders, and state leaders, and leaders of our country. So this is a book about a farm animal who thinks he's going to lead. Okay, are you ready? Duck for President by Doreen Cronin. I like this picture of him. Peace. <laughs> and this boat. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is covered from head to toe in hay, horse hair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. It doesn't smell very good either. The animals have chores to do too. Pigs, clean under the beds. Cows, weed the garden. Sheep, sweep the barn. Duck, take out the trash, mow the lawn, and grind coffee beans. At the end of the day, the pigs are covered in lint bunnies, the cows are covered in weeds, the sheep are covered in dust, and the duck is covered in tiny bits of grass and espresso beans, which is like coffee beans. The duck did not like to do chores. Does anybody like to do chores? I don't. He did not like picking tiny bits of grass and espresso beans out of his feathers. Why is Farmer Brown in charge anyway, thought Duck. What we need is an election. He made a sign and hung it up in the barn. Uh-oh, look. Farmer Brown must go. Farm election tomorrow. Hmm. The next morning, Farmer Brown found a poster on his front door. Vote Duck for a kind, kinder, gentler farm. How do you think that made Farmer Brown feel? So a lot of times people put up signs when they want you to vote for them. So that's what Duck did. He put up a sign that said, vote for me, Duck. And he tells you why in his sign. Farmer Brown was furious, so not just angry, you guys, furious. He ran to the barn and found the animals registering to vote. So in order to register to vote, you have to be over the age of 18, um, you have to be a U U.S. citizen, and you have to have, um, you have to have, like, information about where you live so they can tell you where to vote, and then you have to have an ID, so I use my driver's license. So that's what they did here. So when you turn 18, you can go and register to be able to vote for um, leaders around you. The mice got together and protested the height requirement, so Duck crossed it off. <laughs> on election day, each of the animals filled out a ballot and placed it in a box. So on election day, you you enter what your choice is on a ballot, and then you place it where they at. You either do it online, like on the computer, or you place it in a box. The vote was counted, and the results were posted on the barn wall. F. Brown, Farmer Brown, 6. Duck, 20. Well, I remember from math class that 20 is greater than 6, so looks like duck won. Farmer Brown demanded a recount, 
So one sticky ballot was found stuck to the bottom of a pig. The new tally was Farmer Brown 6, Duck 21. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, duck was covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. Running a farm is no fun at all, thought duck. That night, duck and his staff worked to on duck's campaign for governor. So he was done with the farm. He's moving up to governor, or he wants to. Duck left Farmer Brown in charge and hit the campaign trail. He visited small town diners. He marched in parades. He went to town meetings. He gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. And those are some of the things that people do when they want to be voted for. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the state. The vote was counted and the results were posted in the local paper. Duck wins by a nose. Miss Governor, 299,999. Duck, 300,000. So he won by one vote. The governor demanded a recount. Two sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of a plate of pancakes. The new tally was Miss Governor 299,999, Duck 300,002. The voters had spoken and Duck was officially in charge. Running a state is very hard work. At the end of each day, duck was covered from head to toe in hairspray, ink stains, scotch tape, fingerprints, mayonnaise, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a state is no fun at all, thought duck. That night, duck and his staff started working on posters for the presidential election. Presidential election. So he went from being a duck on the farm to running the farm, from running the farm to being the governor, and now he wants to go from being a governor to being the president. Do you think he can do it? Let's find out. Duck left his staff in charge and hit the campaign trail. He kissed babies in local diners, he rode in parades, he gave speeches that only other ducks could understand, and he even played the saxophone on late night television. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the country. The vote was counted, and the results were announced on CNN. Mr. President, 50,546, I mean 50,546,165. Duck, 50,546,170. Duck defeats the president. The president demanded a recount. Ten sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of the vice president. So the new tally was Mr. President 50,546,165, Duck 50,546,180. Duck still defeats the president. The voters had spoken and Duck was officially in charge. I wonder how the duck is going to handle this. Running a country is very hard work. At the end of each day, duck was covered from head to toe in face powder, paper cuts, staples, security badges, secret service agents, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a country is no fun at all, thought duck.
Then he checked the help wanted ads, which are in the newspaper. It said, duck needed, no experience necessary, must be able to mow the lawn and grind coffee beans. Hmm. So he knew where that was from. Duck left the vice president in charge and headed back to the farm. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is now covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, filths, I mean feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. And Duck? Hmm, I wonder what he's up to. Duck is working on an autobiography. <laughs> Now, if you forget what an autobiography is, it's a true story about someone written by that person. So if I wrote an autobiography, it would be a story about my life. If Abraham Lincoln wrote an autobiography, it would be a story about his life. If I wrote a story about Abraham Lincoln, that would be a biography. So there's a difference there. So it looks like Duck figured out that the farm was the place to be, right? He realized that being a leader is, is really hard work sometimes, but I know that all of you can be a leader and that all of you can help others do what's right and that you can make good choices, okay? All right, see you soon. Take care. Bye.